Hi there YouTube, it's Jay Bald here again and today I'm doing the well fairly highly requested for me and that's the colour tutorial for the bike. So to do this you're gonna need a DM spy. If you go on to the pipe discord uh, my discord kill itself, that's great. So if you go to the, the pipe discord and you go to duh, 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 programs there'll be a DM spy uh, link here and you're also gonna need this link. Uh, for your colours and then path IDs to figure out where you put it on. So, uh, if you're gonna need to know where your pipe directory is, so go to your description. Now you got your Steam, go to pipe, go to properties, then local files, browse files. Make sure you've got this because you're gonna need to go to pipe data managed, and you're gonna be accessing this DLL file here in DM Spy. So just copy this so you can find it. So I'm gonna I've copied that now. We're gonna go into DM Spy once you've extracted it to a folder. And you're gonna wanna double click on it. Quick close this now, because we open back up. Now you're not gonna have this tab here. You're just probably gonna have this tab, if not. So I'm just gonna close it. So it's gonna open. Obviously go to the address, search it in, assemble the dash C sharp. And then uh, oh what I've done, I've deleted that so view. Assembly Explorer and then you'll have this tab here assembly dash C sharp and then they'll have these like brackets here for you it'll be closed you'll have all these yellow ones you'll open this one scroll all the way down to bike bike loadout whatever that is it's up here and you want to click on it and it'll bring you to this here and you scroll down a little bit and you'll find this dot set color and this is where you do the presets for your bikes now right click on it and edit in C class hash thing and uh, you will have these top twos uh, or maybe not you might not you I think you probably just have that one um, so I'm gonna start off by deleting these two because they don't need them and uh, I've put this uh, example in here for you boys um, so we've got this dot set color so it says set color then it goes new color and then we've got these four values here these four floats these are OpenGL colors and uh, with OpenGL colors you basically convert RGB to OpenGL and you can get better more accurate colors basically and then this end bit here the zero is the path ID basically and to find the path ID that the part you want it to do just go to the path IDs in the Pipeworks discord and you'll find it so zero is frame um, if you want to you can put a triple slash and then put all oh, this is frame and this will it'll save it there so when you go back to edit it it'll be it should be there for you so that's my frame and that's gonna be hot pink so to get that you want to go to uh, RGB color wheel this will be in the description I found a nice pink for myself uh, you can get whatever clear you want say for the in fact I don't want my frame to be pink because I'm gonna go for a kind of uh, kind of orange actually like a, a copper theme this time so no, I clicked that back and it hits pop ups to do your book origin. So I'm gonna go for an orange now instead. We'll go for this one, kind of nice orange. And I'm gonna do my hubs in this colour as well. So we've got this nice orange here, we're gonna put it in there at the top, press N, uh, it'll change the background at website. And then you're gonna want the one with the four floats here. So you've got your three main floats, as are R, G, and B. And then you've got your alpha float, which is for transparency and whatnot. Leave transparency alone, unless you're gonna use a material underneath, and you know how to do that. But I'll I'll talk about materials in another video. So just copy this one here, and then obviously you will have this here. That's all you'll have now. So you'll you'll type in this dot set, and then bracket new color, and you want to paste this in, and then just remove the color for F there, and just keep that. Oh, it's GL as well. Just so it's new color, then the color, and then before the brackets go to the colon, you just want to put a comma, the path ID of the part, which means frame, and then an ending bracket again. Then we can start a new line, and uh, frame. Want you to stay there. So you can start a new line. So this I'm gonna put that set color. It does like to suggest other things, and I do not want them. Does DM spy? So new colour we want well we're gonna put as hubs as this same colour so hubs and rims. 
So hubs are path ID 17. So what I can do now is I can just copy this little bit here, paste it. 17 is hubs, and then colon, semicolon. And then we can go again, and I can go this dot set color, and then set color. Want ah uh, rims, 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 rims. So that's two. So set new color. That color again, and then rims. What were they? Seven or something? I can't even remember. And that's bars. Rims were two. Now I'm going to do with tyres, I'm going to do those in a tan colour, so I'm going to go back to the RGB colour wheel and find a more like, accurate tan, like that's that's an accurate tan colour for like a tyre. Well to be fair, I've got advanced tyres on my bike, well I've got one up front unfortunately, that's actually quite good for carving, and that's kind of that colour, and for some reason it's copied really awkwardly. There we go, that's it, that's a nice tan colour, so uh, as before, the GL colour for ref value, and then... Uh, this sorry, capital. This dot set color. New color. Uh, new color. We'll paste it in. Then we'll get rid of the jail color for ref that we just copied. And then before this, put a comma. Then the part. So for your tire, there's two parts. There's the side wall and the tire. So you want to do it for both values if you want to say have like a white wall. Or you just want to be a full gum tyre or tan tyre like I'm doing, you want to do both side wall and tyre the same colour. So it's free and four, so it's, it's not hard to, fi you know, figure out. So we've got, that's my side wall, and then this is my tyre. And we've got new colour, and I'm just going to copy this whole line up here, drop it on there, and then just put four. And then... Grips, grips are on here. Yeah, grips are here. I'm gonna have my nah. So that's my. I think I think I think that'll do. Uh, chain wheel. I might make my chain wheel. Well, I'm gonna make that chrome. But I've already got. I'm gonna make a tile for that. But that yeah, that's how you change your colours and. Once it's all right, and if it, if it looks like this, it is right. Just click compile. Oh, uh, I can't compile it. Double flow. What? Ah, see, right. These values are okay, but I forgot I copied the wrong one. You want the ones that always have F on the end because that stands for flow, and that's how the program understands. Oh yeah, this is a an open GL value. So I gotta add all the F's on the end now real quick. And this may ruin the colour but we'll see. And we'll compile this. There we go, it's compiled so it worked. And now to save this, like this bike loadout is wanna da -da -da -da. save module in the same place as here. And I'm just gonna click on it, save, replace it, yes, okay, so it'll overwrite it. We can close this and then we can open our pipe game and I will show you I've now got a uh, odd coloured tan bike. The colour might be wrong now because I've had to add the uh, F on the, the end of them. But we'll see now. I, need, I really need to disable the game DVR. Ride the pipe. Ah, I should have done my forks. In fact, no, I'm going to have a forks chrome anyway. So there we go, we've got a weird, like, tan colour. So I've got my, well, it was supposed to be copper, but it's more of a gold, so I'll just stick with gold theme. So we've got that and tan tyres. Um, you can get more in depth with it and do all the bike and it should work. Um, but some things can be awkward. Ah, oh, there we go, frame colour. You just gotta change your colour once and it goes to the colour you set. In fact, that looks, that looks kinda nice. I like that. That's a nice colour. So, yeah. I'm gonna go edit rest of my bike and you're gonna see that in the thumbnail, basically. 
and it should look pretty snazzy. So if this tutorial helps you edit your bike and uh, make it look more snaz, uh, please drop a like, comment and I'll see you boys in the next video. Goodbye.